An hour northeast of the city, Yarra Glen is cradled in one of Australia's premier wine regions. And getting there is half the fun. It's one of the prettiest drives in Victoria. The Yarra Valley also has a rich farming history. So I've come to a place that proudly showcases that heritage. So what are you doing? You're calling the cows in for milking? No, Coxie, the volunteers for morning tea. <laughs> Irene Kearsey is a volunteer for the National Trust, which has faithfully restored Gulf Station to its 1850s origins. It all looks very old, but was it a working farm? Oh, definitely, yes. They had Ayrshire cattle, yeah. milking cows, Border Leicester sheep, Berkshire pigs, Clydesdales. Wow! So this is the homestead. Yeah. 1850s, the middle three rooms, 1860s, 1880s, 1910. What, so as they had more children, they needed more bedrooms? Well, no, the 1860s extension had to cope with the eight children. Eight kids? Yes. In this day and age, can people still come here and see how the farm operated in the old days? Yes, we have special days when people demonstrate the old skills, such as blacksmithing. This is. Matt. Hello, Matt. How are you, Coxie? What are you making? Uh, gum leaf. A gum leaf. You a want me leaf. to give you a hand? Yeah, for sure. Come around and turn the blower. Excuse me. Yeah, I will. Turn the blower. Just crank the hand around, Coxie. Really now we're getting a bit of heat in there, Coxie. Yeah, we've got a chair, have you? <laughs> got a question. Yes. Why a gum leaf? Feed the koalas. <laughs> You're as silly as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Since taking over Gulf Station in the 1970s, the National Trust has opened it to the public. G'day, mate. What are you doing? Oh, just working on a lesson for the kids. A lesson? What do you mean? A lesson for the kids. This is the old schoolhouse. Oh, yeah, there was eight kids, right? So you'd need a schoolhouse. Yeah. Can the kids of today come here and see what it was like? They can. They can come in here, learn their three R's, read and write and arithmetic. What do the kids think? The kids love it. Do they? And they're, they're happy to go back to their iPads, though, when they leave. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they are. Station manager Ken Daig says during school holidays and some weekends, Gulf Station provides a hands-on education about how pioneering families live their lives. Would they have made their own rope here on the farm? Absolutely. In fact, this piece right here is an original. This is original? Absolutely. Used here on the farm, an original artifact. And that's how they made rope? 150 years ago, absolutely. So you must be the dairy maid. I am the dairy maid. Fantastic. Well, OK. A jug of cream to butter. How long? At least half an hour. Of that? Of this churning. Well, we better have a look. Oh, you've still got a way to go. You know, curds are way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just got to throw it in. Golly. Yeah, we're getting there. The butter's not quite ready to eat, but I'm told there's a fabulous fresh fruit stall here somewhere. Hey, Coxie. Hey, listen, I've heard you've got some fantastic fruit. What do you recommend? Well, we specialise in local seasonal fruit, so everything here is the best and being picked right now. Anita Jackson assures me Yarra Farm Fresh lives up to its name. Where do you source your fruit? All right here in the Yarra Valley. All of it? Yeah, Yarra Valley's known as Melbourne's Fruit Bowl. So what do you like? Oh, I'm a bit, uh, bit partial to peaches. Try it. Mmm, fantastic. Of course, down on the farm, we humans aren't the only ones who need a good feed. You know, Ken, some things haven't changed in 150 years. We'd have it no other way. Come on. Here you go. 